Okay, we're going to talk about using cross-hatching to create shadows. So, using a black pen seems kind of counterintuitive. I mean, you can't really make grays out of it, but actually you can with this technique. So as I look at my cylinder, I can see on the far side, it's lightest, a little darker as it goes inside, and probably darker still on this far end. And then, of course, we have the shadow going across the bottom. This is our cast shadow. So to get our shading going, I'm going to go ahead and give everything one layer of lines that goes in a certain direction. And I'm keeping my lines fairly short and going in the direction that I see the surface going. Now, in order to show that one area is darker than another, I give it a second layer of hatching. This is where it becomes cross-hatching. So I'm going to go ahead and make it darker here by crossing in a different direction. And now to make it even darker still, I can go in a third direction. Go over my lines to make them stand out. Now you can see the cylinder starts to look three-dimensional. If I want to play with the idea of shadow on the ground, the same idea holds true. And the shadow tends to get darker as it goes near the object. And then even darker still as it goes underneath. Cross-hatching is a great way to show uh, light, medium, and dark tones. You can go even darker by filling it in if you wanted to. This also photocopies uh, very, very well. And when you look at money very, very closely, you'll see that it's made up of lots of little lines because they print it to make copies.